using primitive tools, this one man has built a crazy primitive millionaire mansion boathouse with a swimming pool. It's absolutely insane. Make sure you watch till the end of the video to see the final results. Yo, who's ready to have their minds absolutely blown away? Check this out. So my man over here has been building this entire place for a pretty long time. He's used all the bamboo sticks and everything possible to actually make it happen. But yo, here's the thing, man. He's about to make this place look incredible. So it's like, my dude over here is kind of like a pro Minecraft player. He hops in a game, he builds something crazy, and it looks absolutely phenomenal. But then there's other people like us, where we just play the game and we just can't get it on point. But seriously, it's a straight up skill right here. Look at this dude, he's just been using like, like clay and stuff like that, or mud, with uh, hay inside of it to actually put the walls together. But ladies and gentlemen, he's gonna transform this wooden foundation into a straight up, Crazy million dollar bold house without having to pay for nothing. Yo, that's crazy, bro. Imagine not having to pay for a place and you can live there for the rest of your life. That's amazing. That's your house right there. You can do anything you want there, bro. But check it out. Look at all the bamboo and how carefully it's placed and on, a, on like an actual slant and stuff. It's insane. There's a lot of detail that goes into it. And I think this place looks absolutely incredible, especially once it completes it. But I want to see what he's going to do. I know for a fact he's going to, you know, make it look all crazy and stuff. Okay, yeah, you know what? This is exactly what I was saying. It's, it's pretty crazy already. <laughs> he's been smoothing out the entire place and it looks incredible. It, it legit looks like an actual house. But he's not done just yet. He's not even finished with this thing. So he's trying to add on some extra additions, I guess. I'm not sure what he's doing. Oh, he's digging something out. Wait, what? What's going on here? Oh, it's going to be for the pillars or something, right? Yeah, more, more beam supports. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. All right, so he's adding an extension. He's going to make this house a little bit bigger. we got to have some more space because my man's got to live it up, bro. He's going to have his boys come over, have a good time, do anything you want. That's how you got to keep it 100, right, Mr. That plus G? That's what I'm saying, bro. Now, speaking of keeping 100, ladies and gentlemen, over 65% of people watching this video have not subscribed. I'm not really sure what's up with that. It happens all the time. It's just YouTube's kind of weird sometimes. But... I'm gonna need everybody to subscribe, slap the bell, turn on notifications, especially if you wanna have a house like this in the future. I mean, it's a, it's a pretty cool house. I don't know if you wanna have a house like this in the future. <laughs> but I know that in no time, we can definitely hit 2 million subscribers together and then be on the way to 10 million subs. Hashtag get your boy Moose. 210 million subs. Keep it on it. Dude, this dude's crazy. Like, all these things that he's building right now, he's gonna like chop these little wooden pieces together and then like kinda line them up. I don't even know what he's doing anymore. It looks so incredible. Look what. That's actually like an insane house. Just imagine seeing some random dude in the middle of nowhere just building this random crib. Like, what are you gonna say about that? Like, you're a tourist and you're on a quad adventure. You're like, wait, I think that right over there. We got a random man building a crazy house. Like, I mean, like it would be freaking out. What is he even doing anymore? It kind of looks like a chimney, right? It, it, it reminds you of a chimney for some reason. Okay, smooth it out. Make sure everything looks perfect and nobody can get inside. You don't want no creepy crawlers, some, you know, crazy ants or spiders living in there. But here's the thing, ladies and gentlemen, comment down below. Would you actually stay inside of this place for about a week? If somebody dares you, you gotta live inside this house for a week. I'm being serious. Get your own food and everything, but the reward would be $10,000. Would you do it? Let me know. Would you do it? And how about this? If we get 100,000 likes, like, I, like I've been saying this past, like, three months... I will do a real life primitive building video. We'll make our own primitive mansion, but we gotta get 100,000 likes and we have yet been able to do that, which is kind of good for me because I don't have to build it. <laughs> but I know everybody wants to keep seeing me do that and I don't even know how I'm gonna go about this. I've just been watching these videos trying to learn, bro, and I'm like, bro, this looks impossible. I know it's doable though. If he can do it, everybody can do it. Dude, he's just straight up casually putting together everything and using like, like what even is that? It's like small little sticks that you can bend with, like vines. It's not even vines. Like what? Oh, those are vines right there. There you go. Dude, where do you get all these materials? You gotta, you just gotta keep on collecting yourself. It's insane. You can't go to the Home Depot or anything like that and get everything you need. He's like, ah, nice little bit to chill on. Take a quick little break and then start, you know, building some more things out. All right, so what is he doing now? He's adding some more beam supports for some reason. I'm not sure. Oh, oh, it's a fence. Ah, it's a fence. So this way, he can have his animals, or pet dog, or pet cat, or pet rabbit, or even pet moose, or pet monkey. You know, just do his own thing. Just hang out without escaping. Nice. That was crazy, bro. I like all the windows and the different types of patterns that he added in. 
Oh, he even smoothed out the back two with, uh, with mud. That looks pretty awesome. This place is almost done, though, right? Yeah, it, it looks like it's almost finished. I think it's still got some more things to add in. So, now you have a little walkway all around here. Not exactly sure what that's for, but you can see he's using, using a basket, like, you know, back and forth, going back. On top. As you can see, he's using a basket, dude. No shovel, nothing like that. This is the real deal right here. Bro, that's, that's insane. You gotta keep on, you know, getting it from there, putting on the basket, and then putting it over here, moving it back and forth. It's so much work. I really do want to, like, how long do these buildings take these people to build? I, I've never been able to figure it out, you know what I mean? I've had a couple people guess that, uh, you know, maybe it takes, like, about, like, a month or so. I really wonder, is he, like, building all his friends, like, really cool houses? I mean, I could definitely see it. I, I would definitely want to, like to build my own, like, real-life underground city or, like, a uh, real-life, you know, just a cool city in general. It'd be awesome, just using primitive tools. And then we can get those backup generators and have our own electricity or something. That'd be a really, really, you know, cool way to do it, though. Check this out, he's even painting the pool. My man's painting the pool blue. He's been painting the pillars too, or, oh, those are chimneys. I'm pretty sure they're chimneys, right? That looks crazy, bro. Not bad at all. He's got cast everywhere. Nice. Perfect place for Lucy to poop at. That's right, my puppy Lucy. Oh, what? That's a walkway upstairs? That's pretty cool. No, he's installing like a drainage system. Look at that. So that's where he's going to put all the water, I'm guessing. Now, oh, no. He's doing the basket method, the, the pot method, bro. No way. He's going to take his little pot and then fill it up with water. It's going to be a water pot, and he's going to keep on dumping it back and forth. So he's going to make, he's going to go down the stairs, find some water, put it in the water pot, and then come back over here and dump it back and forth, bro. Non-stop hustling right here. Everybody slap that like winner for my boy. He is straight up hustling. Look at him go. He's like, nah, we ain't stopping today, bro. We're going to make this happen. Let's go. Let's go. Nice. My man straight up caught himself a fish. Straight up survivalist out here. Some real survival skills, bro. I mean, listen, I always want to just go into the middle of nowhere, catch a fish, get a tent or something, do camping and stuff, survive. You know what I mean? That'd be pretty cool. I definitely got to try this out for a video. We'll do, okay, surviving inside the woods or something for like, maybe like 24 hours. That'd be kind of cool. But we got to like, you know, hunt our own food and stuff. We'll be like, we got to catch a fish. Let's go, boys. Dude, there's like so many flies in the fish. Ew. There's this water canteen. Nice. He's about to pick up the fish. He's like, all right, let me put it to here. We're going to heat it up. Close it up a little bit. And that's it. That's how he's going to fix the whole entire thing. I'm surprised the bamboo doesn't catch on fire. Bro, what? He made his own furnace. The dude made a furnace and it's an actual working furnace because it goes through the chimney and stuff. Yo, look at it. It actually works. Bro, he's blowing my mind away, seriously. And he's got an upstairs pool. Yo, he's balling on a budget right now. He's got his own staircase, too. That's crazy, man. Honestly, props to him, bro. I'm gonna give this a solid 10 out of 10. Definitely one of the best houses I've seen so far. The crab house and the bull house that we've seen were incredible. They were my fault. Like, they were just insane, dude. That was in the pool's hot, low key. The hot tub, secretly. Hey, nice, bro. Looks pretty cool. It'd be kind of cool to be able to, like, heat up the pool from underneath. Hey, he's living it up, dude. He's living up life right here. Check this out. My man's a savage. There he goes. Oh, it's a little bit hot. Ouch. Be careful, bro. The fish is ready. What do we got? Let me see the fish. Oh, that looks fire, bro. That looks like some fire fish. He's like, yes, it's ready. Yes. Oh, you see the tail. What? Nice. That's how you do it right there. After a long day of hard work, go to your private pool that you built yourself and painted and eat your fish that you cooked and, you know, caught yourself, of course. Savage, man. That's crazy. Yo, I didn't even realize this. Look, he made an actual slide. <laughs> Bro, it's a water slide. I'm like, what? He's like, ow, man. I kind of I kinda hurt. He's got a straight up slide to leave the second floor. You can swim, eat your food, hop on the slide, go to the first floor. That's amazing. And after he wants to drain the pool, he pulls the plug, and in the back, check this out. It's getting rid of everything. Oh, wait, what's he doing? What's he making? Oh, nice. His own little drainage system. Sick. Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Always keep it 100. And hit that subscribe button if you haven't already.